Hello everyone, welcome to Nitya Cloud Tech. This is the part one of five part series. In this series, we are going to learn about PySpark data frame. Basically, we are going to learn how we can do certain transformation in PySpark data frame and how we can do certain actions. So if you are not aware of action and transformation, so don't worry, we are going to learn step by step each and everything. Okay. And uh, if I talk about prerequisite, so prerequisite of uh, this series, uh, you should have uh, basic knowledge of Python. So that would be good. And if you don't have any knowledge of Python, so you can refer my Python for data science series. Here uh, in 3 to 6, you can do Python crash course where you will have basic understanding of Python. Okay. I will also provide the link and put this into the I button so you guys can refer the same. Okay, so now uh, let's start. So uh, if I talk about Spark data frame, then again, there is one more thing. I have already shared high level understanding of Spark data frame in my another series, which is Azure Databricks. So you can watch again part one of this series. So that you can understand the basics of or high level understanding of Spark. I will again uh, share this link and as well as put uh, this link on I button. Okay. Okay. So now there are three common things which would be widely used in this series. That is RDD, Action and Transformation. Let's try to understand what exactly these are. So RDD is basically Regirent Distributed Data Set. Okay, so RDD basically they are distributed collection of object and stored in memory or on disk of different machines of a cluster. So edge name suggests it is distributed. So what happens when you process the data? So it basically divides the that data into the different distributed system so that it will be processed in a faster manner. And it is stored data in a memory and disk of different machines of a cluster. Okay, they are immutable, read only in nature. Meaning, if you take any file or any data from RDD, so you cannot make any changes in that specific variable. So I will show you uh, in later part in this video what exactly is. So as of now, you can understand it is immutable. It is immutable. One, once it is, uh, you know, like uh, uh, saved in the variable, you cannot change that variable. Okay, RDD can be divided into multiple logical partition. As I mentioned earlier as well, it basically divided into multiple partitions so that it can be processed into multiple system. So whenever it will save data into one RDD, after that it will divide it into the different partition so that it, it will be processed into the different system. Okay, and the second part is RDG basically support two types of operations, actions and transformation. So what exactly is action and transformation? So let's talk about transformation first. So transformation basically it creates a new data set from the existing one. So meaning, uh, let's say you imported some data. After that, you made any changes. Let's say you have imported 10 columns. Now you need only five columns. So you remove the uh, remaining five. Columns. So that is transformation. So that maybe the different transformation, maybe you are filtering the data and you know you are changing the data type. So there are different transformation which you can do. Transformations are lazy. They get executed when we call an action. Meaning if you do the transformation, you will not show the any output. You will only able to see the output once the action will be called. So that's why transformation are 
lazy in nature. These are the some examples of transformations. Filter map, flap map, union, distinct, etc. Okay. Now actions. So actions basically it returns a value to the driver program after running a computation on the data set. So once the all the transformations are done, then we call the action finally. It uh, returns the basically output. So it returns a value to the driver program after running a computation on the data set. So some actions example are collect, take, talk, reduce, hold, and there are many more. Okay. Now let me show you one uh, practical example. I will show not practical. I will just show you in the notepad file so that uh, you maybe understand something. Uh, otherwise, we will discuss each and everything in the coming videos. So basically, this is transformation and action. These two are major part of this, you know, spark. So in this transformation, if you see this is RDD. So RDD basically here it is export, it is importing data from uh, maybe S3, Hadoop, or any other data sources. And we can uh, use hard coded value as well to creating data. Okay, so as you remember, I mentioned it is immutable in nature, meaning once you store the data in this RDD. You cannot make any changes in this RDD. If you need to make any change, you need to create another variable. Let's say RDD1. After that, you can make change. Now again, you cannot make change in RDD1. If you need to make changes in RDD1, you have to create another variable. After that, you can change in RDD2. Okay. These all are the transformations. So RDD. Basically, where you are, you know, your different variable, you are saving the data and transformation. Basically, where you are doing certain transformation, certain operation. So, these are the transformers. So, as you remember, I mentioned one more thing. Transformation are lazy in nature. So, it will not show you output. You are just doing, you know, transformation as per the business requirement. After that, you need to call the action. If you see this RDD group to dot collect, then you will able to show the output only. So, as you remember, I have mentioned here, it returns a value to the driver program after running a computation on the data set. Okay. So, I hope this is helpful for you guys. Thank you, everyone.